Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out here. We are going to be doing something pretty hype. We are back on the water. And today, as you guys can see, we are dangling over the cliff. We are trying to get this boat in the water. We are heading out there. And then we're going to be doing a bunch of fishing, including hand lining for huge sharks in the water. This is going to be insane. Stay tuned. And right now, we're going to take the boat down in the water. We do not want this thing to tip. There's a huge chance that could happen. And we just slide down here. There we go. Cool. Cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're also going to be fishing for huge redfish in a really special area that we were told about by an expert fisherman of the area. So let's go ahead and get in the boat and let's start sailing down this river right here. Hey, yo, yo, yo. So right now we're coming up to the river. This is the creek we've been sailing in. It's not that big of a creek. The one we're going to be going to is way bigger. We got to sail left around, I don't know, 500 yards, 1,000 yards, and then we're going to be there. And then we'll start fishing. You guys can see the river up here. It's very calm today. There's almost no wind. So we should be in business, but I'm going to put this thing down and focus on making sure we can have a safe trip because, I mean, the, the current is pretty strong in this river, so... I'm gonna put you guys down and I'll meet back up with you soon. As you guys can see, there is almost no wind out here. We're sort of stuck right now. I don't know why they said they could steer while I videoed, but they apparently can't. I mean, they took it out. And we're gonna paddle along here. We're probably gonna head out into the deeper water since there's like no waves at all. We're in a good situation. And usually, I'm not kidding, we, this boat one time was filled up about a couple inches of water. I mean, like a foot in certain places of water. We almost sunk out here once because there were so much waves. That it was about 50 mile per hour winds. Yo, 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 yo. So we're pulling up right now. Uh, this is the area up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's in the distance. And right here is the Tidal Creek. We're going to be fishing. It's very, very big. It's one of the biggest ones around here by far. Yo, my dude. So we just got to land right here. You guys can see this is the spot. This is what we came for. We're going to not right now. We're going to go ahead, take the boat up here. We're going to take all our stuff out and head up to this bank right here. This is how we usually get up, you know, right here. We, you guys can actually see our path we made. And up here is where we're going to be fishing for the next uh, few hours. Y'all boys can see we have the boat unloaded. And now it's time for the Row Wild Crib Tour. Let's get started, my dudes. So you guys can see this is the entrance right here. It is a little bit muddy at this point since we've trodden it down for the past few weeks. But that's going to change because we're, we're going to make modifications. So you walk along here and you come over here and this right here is where you enter the crib and the first thing you're going to see is the most important part of the crib our uh, snack station or do you call it our kitchen i don't know if it's justified to be a kitchen since i mean there's not much healthy stuff here so we are loaded with all sorts of trash we first off we got our haribo frogs we got our airheads more airheads can't go wrong there we got our lemon heads sour Ratch kids jelly fruits oreos toasted uh, peanut butter crackers queen and terry's cheeses lays Whew. We got our water down here because you know you got to be healthy sometimes we, we probably aren't going to drink that then we come over here we got our honest kids drinks right there very important we got our uh, nestle splash uh flavored uh, lemon water then we got our lighter fluid because that's just lit we got to be lit out here my dudes that's oh my goodness it's so tasty um and then we come over here we can see that we have some other stuff out here we got dan's area nice beach access what's going on man i have my little dwelling area my life jacket my beach access very good very good then we come over here to Beth. She got her area. She her next rod. We're gonna do some fishing in a little bit. We really gotta get back. Here. We gotta start fishing trash can over here. Then we come to the king's dwelling right here. Um, this is my area. We got all our electronics in here. Nice fishing supplies, cast net. And now, thanks for watching our Beach Cribs tour. And we will tune back in with you guys when we are fishing. Thanks for watching. Peace out. This is the first obstacle we have to get by. The stream right here. It's not that hard to cross, but there is a lot of mud, and we do have some boogie boards to help us get across, so let me go first so I can go ahead and take the stuff over. <laughs> right now I'm crossing. Seems pretty easy right now. Oh, this mud in here is pretty sinky, though, I'm just saying. Seriously, I need help. Let's go! I almost died there, not gonna lie. I literally was stuck really badly. If we didn't have these boards, I might have, like, literally died. So we just arrived at the spot we came from. You guys can see over here. It was a very long walk along this beach, like a mile, almost like half a mile. Right here though, it's said to be one of the best fishing spots in the You guys can see there's someone out there right now fishing. From here to over there, this long stretch of beach is perfect. We're gonna get our rod out in the water. We're first gonna fish this stream, then we're gonna cross over, fish over there. Let's get it fishing, guys. I'm using a popping cork with this nice finger mullet on here. It's a uh, galt finger mullet four inch with a nice jig head, a fourth of an ounce. Let's do the casting, folks.
So right now we're doing some fishing with the cast net. I just caught this redfish right here. You guys can see right here, it has some sort of injury right here. Looks like I got bit by something, but we're gonna throw them back. It honestly looks like it's in a bad condition. There we go, let's keep casting. We've been fishing here for about 30, 40 minutes. We haven't had any luck yet. It's honestly really disappointing. We really wanna catch a redfish, but this is not gonna stop us. I mean, we are being disappointing. We are, we're letting y'all down, but we will stop by that spot on the way back and we will catch some redfish in the net there, hopefully. If not, we'll also go back there, keep shark fishing. We have four hand lines and one rod, so we should be in business. And you know what? Let's just get moving. We don't want to waste any more time here. We're out here cast netting this good area for mullet. And you will not believe what I just saw. There was a huge stingray right over there next to the bank. Right now we're going for mullet, but if I catch one of those things, that'll be cool too. Two good mullet right there. Those are a perfect size. They will make good bait. Oh, he got something. As you guys can see, we're reeling in mullet every cast, so we'll cut you guys off unless something interesting happens. We were just casting and we stupid caught a redfish. Look at this thing right here. That's the second redfish we caught in here. I could, I could feel that thing pulling. That's insane. We're probably just gonna let this one go because we don't really need a redfish. But that is a good catch. Oh, wow. I should have smacked the thumbs up by him. And that, my sons, is why you don't turn the camera off while you're casting. <laughs> you never know what could happen. All right, guys, you saw us casting out here. We're just throwing the net. I feel this huge pressure in the net, and we caught a redfish. You guys can see. It's a good, I don't know, 19 to 18 inches. It's a keeper size, but we're just gonna let it go. We don't really wanna eat anything. Last time, if you wanna watch us cook a redfish, we, last time we went on the river, we caught one and we cooked it. But this one, you know, it'll be lucky enough to escape. That's a beautiful fish. This is what we wanna catch with a rod right there. I don't know why we're getting so unlucky, but anyway, let's just put this one back in. Water, wow, it's slimy. Just throw it back in. Oh wow, there it goes, finally. There, it swims off. That's insane. Let's keep gasping. We'll try to catch another one on camera for y'all. Yo, 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 yo. I turned it on. Another redfish. That's a one. Oh my. What are you doing? Yeah. Guys, we just caught another redfish. Two casts in a row, we caught redfish. This is a different one. You guys can see how small this one is. We also caught a mullet. I'm gonna let this one go. It's not even a keeper size. Another nice redfish. Let's toss this thing back and let's keep fishing. We'll keep the cameras on, so in case we catch something, we'll get it on camera. Get over check it. Yo, that's a redfish! Guys, it's insane. As the tide's coming in, all the fish are spooled over there. Get some nice footage of that. That thing is massive! Might even be over the limit. Yeah, this is not the same one as earlier, I'm positive. This thing is massive! Let me pick this thing up. This is a great place for catching redfish, honestly. Nice. Whoa! Stop it! I'm just gonna throw this one back in. Yeah, this thing is a feisty boy. Would be great for dinner, but... This isn't worth it at this point. There we go. I'm All right, guys, just got another redfish, as you guys can see. About 12 inches, 13 inches. It's in the water. It's just gonna swim away. We'll just, we'll just let it swim away. Nice catch. Okay. Guys, we're back to the channel that we crossed earlier at low tide, and you guys can see, this ain't no little channel anymore. Probably five feet deep. Oh, this is, this is not nice. Yeah, this actually isn't that bad. That wasn't that bad because it was so high, I was just able to walk across. It's a little more scary, but there comes Dan swimming across. Your feet down, your feet down slowly. And climb up. That was not as bad as we expected, and we'll be, we'll get back to where we were fishing for sharks earlier, and we'll throw our hand lines out and catch them. Four redfish isn't bad either. I can't lie about that.
So I just got the rod set up. You guys can tell I'm serious because I'm using a $7 liter. I'm also using this nice weight right here. This is the first time I ever thought of this idea. I zip tied it to here so it won't be swinging around or anything. I think that's actually a really good idea to zip tie the weight to the thing. And now I'm going to go ahead, go over here, toss out this 13 inch mullet. And I'm going for something huge on here. Not going to lie, I'm going for a six or seven or eight foot shark. Let's go. Honestly, I should just paddle the bait out there and drop it. What do you guys think? Okay, so we're going to take the canoe right out there. Yeah, I'm going to then... drop the bait in from the canoe. Here are the hand lines. You guys can see I have a weight on here with two nice fish uh, pieces. Elizabeth is going to hold it like this. Uh, hold it right here. And I'm going to throw. Go. I'm filming, I'm filming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shark! Put a shark on! Shark on the handline, shark on the handline, wow! Guys, I was just eating some candy and I saw this, I came over here to test my rods out. I felt like cooling. Reel this in, we have a nice size shark on the handline. Shovel head. A nice bonded head here. All right, guys, so here's the fish we just caught. A nice size bonded head, about two or three feet. I'm gonna go ahead and get the hook out of this thing, and then I'll toss the bait back out there. That's pretty insane, man. You guys can see this thing was barely hooked. Like that little, little flap of skin held it in. Let's get this thing out. There we go. And let's toss this thing back in. Whoa, I'm on this line. Ready, set. There we go, swims away. That's a nice catch, let's get some more. Oh, wow. Oh, we have another shark on the we have another shark on the hand line, guys. We have another shark on the hand line. Check this out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, Abby, stop. Stop, we're gonna get we're gonna see this. We're gonna get you have that run out. Stop, they're just they're hooked in the water right now, Cameron. Stand back, stand back, Cameron. Stand back, stand back! Cameron, Guys, there's a little bit of chaos there. I don't know if we got good footage of that, but we just caught a nice bonnet head right here. It's completely tangled up in our stuff. We're gonna get untangled. It's a nice size bonnet head, one of the biggest bonnet heads I've ever seen out here. That thing was fighting too. You get the hook out, and then we're gonna release it and get it back on its way. This is not good. Here we go, guys. I should get something back in the water now. This is an emergency. It's bleeding. I'm going to be able to swim off and that thing will run down. Very good bonding head. We should swim off mine. There it is. Coming this way. Oh, wow. It's coming the board up. I think got off. Yeah, oh, no. bit in half. That oh, big thing was bit in half. Whatever that was, that was huge. Oh, that was bit clean in half. That's very, very, very disappointing, guys. That whatever that was had to be huge. So my boys right here went over there with Elizabeth, and they stinking left her there. I mean, now she's over there on the opposite bank, sitting there in the water with sharks in the water. Now, what were you guys thinking? Why are you that cruel? Why? Oh my goodness, this, this water's gonna deep, guys. Why do you only have underwear on the creek? Uh, uh, guys, I uh, forget you heard that. Okay, seriously. Um, I have my shirt on too, okay? All right, and there they go. Oh my goodness, they're dragging a man behind them on the boat! Looks like they're gonna go pick up a little bit to save her from death. 
I don't know what's going on over there, guys. They're, they're crazy. They're crazy. They're literally crazy in the head. They're mentally ill. All right, guys. So we sort of gave up on fishing. We ended up just swimming and stuff. We actually all swim across the current over there. It was pretty insane. But basically, the tides came in pretty high. So I feel like at high tide, the fish aren't really that active. We could get stranded out here. We really don't want that to happen. So we're going to hop in our boat and we're going to speed home as fast as possible. All right, guys. So right now we're heading home. You guys can see uh, Kale and Cameron and their kayaks up there. That's where we came from. I'm going to go ahead and put you in a time lapse. Enjoy it. Oh, <laughs> my